organic evolution, session seven, strength and weakness of Darwin theory of natural selection. Kwa kipindi kichopita tuko naangalia uh, Darwin theory of natural selection na jinsi gani ambavyo inafanya kazi kati ya kueleza different concepts. Uh, kwenye hichi kipindi tunaendelea na strength na weakness. Kwa hiyo ili uelewe hichi kipindi lazima wewe umeangalia kule strength na weakness yake. Ah uh, umeangalia na maanisha kipindi chenye cha natural selection ambacho ni kichopita session 6. Kwa hiyo kwanza kwenye strength it explain evolution more scientifically. So in the science side. Lakini pili it puts more emphasis on the role of the environment in evolution kwamba mazingira na kazi gani kwenye evolution lakini tatu it is top the debate on the species creation theory and the nature of species kwa hiyo hii iliondoa kabisa debate ya species ilitokea wapi sababu hii ilisema tu kama species walikuepo na walivyokuepo wale walikuwa well adapted wakaishi wale kwa nani adapted wakadai waka Uh, through the study of fossil natural selection has realized that species do not remain fixed they usually change from simple to complex kwa hiyo fossil manake fossil mifupa ya zamani ni kwenda kwamba organism wa zamani walikuwa wanafanana na walio huko sasa lakini not exactly the same lakini walikuwa wanafanana number 4 it is true that competition wherever intraspecific or interspecific competition affect the size of the individual's population and certain organism will fail to survive or reproduce kwa hiyo that is number 4 mbona inaelezea inaelezea tu kuhusu specific uh, kuhusu interspecific au interspecific competition lazima ina affect size of population so hizo ni strength uh, kwenye strength ya nne maana yake competition ni kama shindano organism ambao wataweza kuishi ndio wataishi ambao watashindwa kuishi normally they will die kwa competition hiyo inaweza kutokea pale kwenye struggle for existence kwenye weakness kwanza it points out that natural selection favor the, the fit and eliminates the unfit but it does not indicate clearly how fit are created and maintained wale fit wanatokea wapi haijaelezea wanatokea wapi inachosema tu ni kwamba they exist they existed from where walikuwa created by god au ilikuwa haja wajisema lakini ya pili it does not explain how variation are inherited generation after generation kwamba inakuwaje inakuwaje gener, uh, generation after generation tuna inherit variations mabadiliko yani hawajaelezea kama variations zinakuwa inherited au waziwi inherited that is the challenge for neo darwinism kama tutakavyoenda kuona lakini ya tatu it does not clearly distinguish the inheritable from non inheritable characteristics haijaelezea characteristics ambazo zinakuwa inherited na ambazo haziwi inherited ah uh, yani mutations and gene interaction as agent of evolution are not considered by the theory mutation and gene interaction kama ambavyo yako soma yako in genetics mutation ni mambo ya change sudden change in genetic material na gene interaction kuingiliana kwa gene hawajaelezea jinsi gani inapelekea evolution ya tano according to the theory favorable variations are passed to the progenies kwamba variation zinapita kwenda kwa progenies progenies ni watoto kama kusema offspring this does not separate environmental induced variation which are not inherited from the genetically induced variations which are inherited kwa hiyo hii theory inakuwa ni ya uongo kwa sababu gani sio variation zote zinazokuwa inherited ni only the, the zile ambazo ni genetic nyingine ambazo sio genetic as inherited Darwin therefore did not distinguish inheritable from non inheritable traits generally Darwin had no knowledge of genetics kwa Darwin alikuwa ajui genetics ya sita on survival of the fittest on survival of the fittest the theory is silent on the unfit individual who survive in nature and even reach reproductive age and they reproduce yani theory haijaelezea kwamba kuna baadhi ya individual ambao wanakuwa ni unfit lakini wana survive kwa sababu survival for the fittest ni kwamba wanapambana kuweza ku survive lakini kwenye natural selection hiyo sometimes unfit individual wana survive 
na wanaliproduce asaijaelezea kwamba kwa wao inakuwaje ya saba vestigial structures not well explained vestigial structures tunaenda kuziona kwa mbele ni zile organ ambazo zimekosa matumizi ni kutolea mfano mmoja hapo ni appendix in human being Darwin's theory did not explain anything about the existence of vestigial structures in your organism. Vestigial structures in zero bonds may lose their function. Na kuona kwa mbele. Lakini ya nane, the theory also did not explain how fittest organism continued to survive. Wale organism walio fit wanaendeleaje kuishi? Wanaendeleaje kuishi? So, hapa kuna study questions, study questions. Kwanza A, how do you define the following term natural selection? fitness pamoja na selection pleasure lakini like be describe giving any relevant example of your choice various type of natural selection various types of natural selection like in C point out the strength and the uh, limitations of natural selection kwa hiyo hayo ni study questions tunaenda kuona baadhi ya majibu huko mbele so tuna study questions pia hapa ambazo zinaendelea discuss observations and deducted deductions which Darwin made before he he derived the theory of organic evolution on, by natural selection easy easy as farm easy observation kwanza ni population size of the population deduction and construct of existence variation and survival of the fittest a is trans farm na kama us farm we click to link hapo chini wende telegram kule utazikuta hizi notes click link hapo chini wende telegram group la olevo utazikuta hizi notes what are the shortcomings of down theory shortcoming ni kama uh, ni kama uh, weakness na unaona hapo amelezeni sama lakini sitosoma maelezo enda tu telegram group kule utayakuta maelezo utayakuta maelezo kwenye notes kwa hiyo from there kuna maelezo hapo mengi ya ya ya, ya hizo weakness the down theory lakini haya yote pia ni maswali haya ukija tu kule telegram tayakuta brief explain how Darwin conceptualized the, the evolution of the toes of ducks on at first high population of ducks existed with high variation and high defense in their characteristics and body feature some ducks have developed webs between their toes or feet and the other had no webs all of them were obtaining the need on land because of the high population the ducks suffered interspecific competition and competed among themselves for food shelter and mate when the environment changed so everyone tried to struggle so as to survive that is struggle of existence thus all of them were to shift from land to aquatic environment searching for food so they were to find food from water ducks with webbed toes of it were favored by the nature and they were able to go were able to go water to search food and other needs as they were able to swim using webbed toes of it those without webbed toes of it failed to swim efficiently in water and did not obtain food so eventually they die kuna mambo ya ama rezo tu mtakuta kwenye notes kwenye Telegram click to link kwenye description hapo chini kama una application ya Telegram basi download your Telegram from Play Store that is free then create account kutoka Telegram jiunge after cap kisha create account click link hapo chini ya Olevo tazikuta hizo notes kwenye group la Olevo so tuishie hapo kipindi hichi tuishie hapo in the next session tutakuwa naangalia kuhusu neo darwinism neo darwinism hiyo ni theory ya tatu ya organic evolution tutaangalia neo darwinism eh endelea tu kukaa pamoja nami subscribe channel pia share link ya hii video kwa sababu vipindi vingine vya biology chemistry uh, physics pamoja na mathematics kwa level na pia kwa form 5 na form 6 vitakao vinaendelea kurushwa kwenye channel hii kwa niotakie wakati mwema na masomo thank you